row. In this video, you will learn how to construct a sensitive 9 volt charge detector. Introduction. In this video, you will know number one, the answer to the question what is the 9 volt charge detector? Its difference over the other charge detectors such as the left electroscope. Number two, how to make the said device from the listed materials and schematic diagram. Number three, how to use the device in identifying two kinds of charges. Next video, what is the 9 volt charge detector? It is a device designed to detect very weak electric charges. It has a similar function to the left electroscope in laboratories of high schools and colleges. It is powered by a 9 volt battery. The battery is necessary for the red light emitting diode indicator to function and for the three transistors to function as current amplifiers and switch. This device detects the presence and nature of charges. It operates in 9 volt battery to activate the light emitting diode and power the three transistors. The current consumption is as low as 4 milliamperes to produce a bright light. So you see the device here. Visible are the three black very small transistors. How sensitive is this device? The three transistors amplify very weak current in the nanoamperes range up to the milliamperes range. The red light emitting diode consumes about 4 milliamperes and the current induced in the wire antenna is in the range of 10 nanoamperes. So, an amplification of more than 10 million is needed. That is why three transistors were used. How sensitive are the left electroscope? The picture of the left electroscope on the right. They operate in the microampere range, a current 1000 times bigger than the nanoampere. They are not as sensitive as the 9 volt charge detector. They do not have current amplifiers. Furthermore, they stop functioning during very humid weather conditions. So the enlarged photograph of the metal left electroscope. Most physics laboratories and high schools colleges and universities use the left electroscope and detecting the nature and presence of electric charges. These devices usually do not function during humid or rainy weather conditions. You see now the schematic of the 9 volt charge detector. It is using three transistors, the one here and pink, circle in pink. The first one is an NPN transistor, that is the C9014. The second one is the PNP transistor C9012, the same with the third transistor. Very visible is the 1.0 kilo ohm resistor the red light emitting diode is connected its anode is connected to the positive of the battery while its cathode is connected to the other side of the resistor the, the negative of the battery is connected to the collector of the third transistor collector of the second transistor and emitter of the first transistor. 
some materials needed to construct the 9 volt charge detector you need a one piece of 9 volt battery you need a piece of so of 1.0 kilo ohm resistor one piece of C9410 NPN transistor two pieces of C9012 PNP transistors one piece of the red light emitting diode so the pictures of the resistor the three transistors the red light emitting diode then lastly you need one piece of plastic enclosure the total cost of these materials is less than the cost of a metal leaf electroscope next the schematic diagram in figure 1 this is figure 1 here and the whole orientation in figure 2 this is figure 2 but it is enlarged here now in the enlarged diagram there are 7 junctions A junction A, junction B, junction C and the last junction is junction G junction A connects hole number 1 and hole number 2 according to the schematic here hole number 1 and is connected to the antenna and Hole number 2 is connected to the base of the first transistor. Next, the bigger schematic diagram. We will deal with the discussion here. Now, looking at the schematic, the emitter of the three transistors are numbered 3, 7, 10 meaning this is the emitter of the first transistor the emitter of the second transistor 7 then the third transistor is 10 emitters the collectors are numbered 4, 6, and 9 so this is the collector of the first transistor collector of the second transistor that is number 6 and the collector of the third transistor that's number 9 number 9 is connected to number 16 and number 6 then number 3 then the negative side of the battery that is 4 terminals connected to junction J. That is how to interpret the whole orientation and the schematic diagram. If you want to construct the device, you can go back to that. It's very easy to understand. Next is how to identify the anode and the cathode of a light emitting diode. So it's very clear in this picture or photograph the shorter leg or the shorter lead is the cathode that's the negative and the longer lead is the anode positive another way of identifying it is you try to locate the flat side of the plastic capsule the flat side that's negative or the cathode the other side that's bulging is the positive or we call that the anode now in order to follow steps number 1 to number 10 when you want to construct the 9 volt charge detector you need a 20 watt soldering iron, a diagonal cutter, a pointed 2 inches nail, 1 meter of 6040 soldering lead, and a pair of scissors to cut the plastic circuit board. 
unit of Ferox Caesar Shell. Take note, this was prepared last November 26, 2003. That was way back uh, 14 years ago. Instructions number 1 to number 10. We have smaller print here. The next diagram will make the printing bigger. So this is a bigger printing. No? But it's only 1 to 5 now. The other page will be 6 to 10. For example, step number 2. Punch 16 small holes in the circuit board using a printed nail. Please see the orientation of the holes in figure 2. So the orientation of the holes here. We have to pass 16 small holes. Then you see the pictures of the materials. The transistor has three leads. The C9410, the rightmost lead is the emitter. The no the leftmost leg I think. That's the emitter. The rightmost lead is the collector. Then the middle lead is the base. The same with the C ninety twelve transistor. So if you want to construct, just follow these steps. Then, these are steps 6 to 10. The same here, same pictures. This is, for example, let us take number 10. Keep the assembled equipment with the 9 volt battery connected to it. This equipment does not draw any current if the LED is not lighting. The battery must last for about a year, even though it is inside the plastic enclosure. Next, the tips and don'ts to follow. Use the recommended transistors. Avoid using substitutes. Do not use the printed circuit board, that's PCB, they call that in electronics, PCB, to mount the electronic components. The PCB is not a very good insulator compared to the plastic circuit board. Next, do not use etching solution to prepare the PCB. To use etching solution, that will damage your project. Hand wire the components in a plastic circuit board. You can use the 3.5 inches diskette plastic or similar materials for easing punching of holes. Failure to follow these tips and don'ts may lead to a non-working device. This is a warning. Next. This is now the assembled plastic circuit board. The antenna is still not connected. But the other components are soldered already. The three transistors are soldered in their places. The one kilo ohm resistor, the red light emitting diode, and the battery connector, the black wire is connected to the negative of the battery. The negative of the battery will be will connect here. Then the the red wire will connect to the positive of the battery through this battery connector. So this is the other side of the plastic circuit board. You will see seven junctions. The first junction this is the antenna connected here. 
the next junction second junction 3 junction 4 junction 5 junction 6 junction 7 so 7 junctions labeled in the schematic as junction A to junction G now in this photograph you see the compl com completed project but the antenna is still not connected because the, you know, if you bore a hole here that will pass through this plastic enclosure so that's the reason it's still not connected the circuit board is a very small plastic taken from the 3.5 inches diskette then you see the components soldered already the battery connector then the 9 volt battery the plastic enclosure about the 9 volt charge detector this can be renamed as the 9 volt electronic electroscope it was designed by Eduardo de De Quilla. his email address now is edix at gmail.com he was a retired secondary P6 teacher this device was once distributed to many P6 teachers of Sok Sargin in region 12 of the Philippines and the schematic diagram were given to many seminar participants at about 14 years ago that was way back 2003 now the charge detector now is ready to test the presence and nature of charging objects so you see here the pink plastic circuit board the red LED then the three black transistor then the blue wire antenna if you bring a charge object nearer this antenna this red LED will indicate if it is positive or negative next the plastic ball pin here is being brought near this blue wire antenna and observe the red light emitting diode is lighting so the, this is positive charge this red uh, this ball pin this plastic ball pin is containing a positive charge so it is a positively charged body when you bring it still nearer this lighting here will this light here will be brightened that is the nature of the positive charge now the rub plastic sheet that was rubbed to the plastic ball pin is being brought near the blue wire antenna and the red LED is not lighting you might think there is no charge in this plastic sheet but there is a charge it's opposite to the charge of the plastic ball pin here when the plastic sheet was moved away from the blue wire antenna that's the time the red LED will light so it has an opposite effect the plastic ball pin is when you bring it near the LED will light but the negative charge when you bring it away that's the time this one will light a video of identifying kinds of charges bodies can be charged positively charged or negatively charged when two insulators are rubbed like the plastic ball pen and the plastic sheet one is charged positively 
and the other is charged negatively. And drop bodies are usually uncharged. Devices exist to identify the kinds of charges. The 9 volt charge detector is such a device. To determine the two kinds of charges, the, the plastic bullpen was rubbed to the plastic sheet. So when I bring it near the antenna, we try to observe its lighting, no? the LED display is lighting. That is positive charge. The bullpen has positive charge. But when I brought the plastic that was rubbed to the bullpen near, it does not light. But when I brought it away, it starts to light. There. So that is negative.